Bangladeshi Americans Bengali, Bangladeshi Markini are Americans of Bangladeshi descent. The majority of Bangladeshi Americans are Bengalis. Bangladeshi immigrants have arrived in the United States in large numbers since the early 1970s to become among the fastest growing ethnic communities since that decade. New York City, Patterson, New Jersey, as well as Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Los Angeles, Boston, Atlanta, San Francisco, Detroit, Chicago, Florida, Dallas, Houston, Charlotte, Austin, and Hamtramck, Michigan are home to notable Bangladeshi communities. History Immigrants from present day Bangladesh have been in the United States since at least the 1880s. Bangladeshis have been migrating to the port cities of the United States since 1974 when 154 Bangladeshi arrived in United States, leaving behind the hard economic and political times of the still developing Bangladesh who got independence from Pakistan in 1971. Most were workers on the various ships docking from Calcutta, India, and hailed especially from the Dhaka regions. Immigration to the United States from Bangladesh grew slowly but steadily from the 1970s to 80s. Over 10,000 Bangladeshis have immigrated to the United States annually. Many of the migrants settled in urban areas such as New York City and Patterson, New Jersey, as well as Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, Boston, Chicago, and Detroit. In New York, it was estimated that 15,000 Bangladeshis resided in the city in the early 1980s. During the late 1970s, some Bangladeshis moved from New York City to Detroit, home to prominent communities of other Muslim Americans, in search of better work opportunities and an affordable cost of living, but most have since returned from Detroit to New York and to Patterson, New Jersey. The community formed newspaper organizations. The Los Angeles Bangladesh Association was created in 1971, and there were 500 members of the Texas Bangladesh Association in 1997. The Bangladeshi population in Dallas was 5,000 people in 1997, which was large enough to hold the Baishaki Mela event. Baishaki Mela events have been held in major American cities such as New York City, Patterson in New Jersey, Washington, D.C., and Los Angeles, as the Bangladeshi population continues to increase in these cities. Many of these Bangladeshis were taxicab drivers, while others had white-collar occupations. <laughs> Demographics Gender imbalance As of 1980, most Bangladeshi immigrants are between 10 and 39 years old. 62% are men, the imbalance being due to employment opportunity differences and custom that discourages the emigration of single women. Approximately 50% of men and 60% of women are married upon arrival to the United States. Topic. Political leanings Bangladeshi Americans tend to favor the Democratic Party, influenced in part by Republican President Richard Nixon's support of Pakistan during Bangladesh's struggle for independence. Topic. New York City New York City is home to the largest Bangladeshi community in the United States, receiving by far the highest legal permanent resident Bangladeshi immigrant population. The Bangladeshi-born immigrant population has become one of the fastest growing in New York City, counting over 74,000 by 2011 alone. The city's Bangladeshi community is spread out in the Jackson Heights neighborhood within the New York City borough of Queens. 74th Street has most of the Bangladeshi grocery stores and clothing stores in Jackson Heights. The Bangladesh Plaza hosts numerous Bangladeshi businesses and cultural events. Recently, one part of Jackson Heights has become the open platform of all sorts of protests and activism. The neighboring communities of Jackson Heights, Woodside, and Elmhurst in Queens also similarly have become attractive areas to live for Bangladeshi Americans. Since the 1970s, thousands of Bangladeshis were able to legally migrate to the USA through the Diversity Visa Program, Lottery. Many initiated a migration to Jamaica, Queens. Continuous movement of Bangladeshis to Jamaica and Jackson Heights, Queens has made some neighborhoods extensively Bangladeshi. 
Centering on 169th Street and Hillside Avenue, the neighborhood has become a popular zone due to the large number of restaurants and groceries. Sagar Restaurant, Garoa, Deshi Shad, Kabir's Bakery, and other stores in Queens are attractions for the Bangladeshi communities all over New York City. The largest numbers of Bangladeshi Americans now live in Jamaica, Jackson Heights, Hollis, and Briarwood in Queens. Bangladeshi enclaves in Queens and Brooklyn have been increasing as Bangladeshis in NYC continue to grow rapidly. Bangladeshis form one of the fastest growing Asian ethnic groups in NYC as new enclaves in areas such as City Line and Ozone Park have sprung up. Wealthier Bangladeshis have been moving to Long Island, New York City, as a particular reason for popular settlement in the area is the pharmaceutical companies existing on Long Island. There are quite a large number of Bangladeshi owned pharmaceutical companies in Nassau County and Suffolk County on Long Island employing many people of Bangladeshi origin. However, there have been cases where Bangladeshis living in New York City moved out, specifically to places such as Buffalo and Hamtramck in Michigan, mainly due to low living costs. New York statistics 1970 census total population 4955 5406 in New York City and 11838 in total in the United States highest concentrations Queens 2567 people and Brooklyn 1313 in Manhattan Bangladeshis formed a small enclave in 6th Street High numbers of people lived in the Astoria area in Queens. 2000 Census Total population, 28,269 Highest concentrations, Queens. 18,310 people 65%, Brooklyn. 6,243 22%, Bronx. 2,442 9%, Manhattan. 1,204 4%, Staten Island. 70 0.2% Population growth rate from 1970 to 2000 to 471% Foreign-born population, 23,157 85% Limited English proficiency, 14,840 60% Median household income, $31,537 People People living in poverty, 8,312 Percentage of people in poverty, 31% 2010 Census Total population, 50,677 Highest concentrations, Queens 60%, Brooklyn 19%, Bronx 17%, Manhattan 4%, Staten Island 0.4% Population growth rate from 2000 to 2010 Foreign-born population, 74% Limited English proficiency, 53% Median household income, $36,741 Percentage of people in poverty, 32% Bangladeshi neighborhoods in NYC include Jamaica, Jamaica Hills, Briarwood, Jackson Heights, Woodside, Elmhurst, Hollis, Queens Village, Hunters Point, Long Island City, Bayside, Hillcrest, West Maspeth and Astoria in Queens, Kensington and City Line in Brooklyn. Parkchester and Castle Hill in the Bronx is also home to an increasing Bangladeshi population other smaller little Bangladesh communities can be found in Philadelphia Washington DC Detroit and Los Angeles Topic <laughs> <laughs> Patterson New Jersey Patterson, New Jersey, in the New York City metropolitan area, is home to a significant Bangladeshi American population, estimated at 15,000, the second largest after New York City. Many Bangladeshi grocery stores and clothing stores are locating in the emerging Little Bangladesh on Union Avenue and the surrounding streets in Patterson, as well as a branch of the Sonali Exchange Company Inc., a subsidiary of Sonali Bank, the largest state owned financial institution in Bangladesh. Masjid Al Furtis is also located on Union Avenue, which accommodates Patterson's rapidly growing Bangladeshi pedestrian population in Patterson. Muhammad Akhtaruzaman was ultimately certified as the winner of the 2012 City Council race in the second ward, making him Northern New Jersey's first Bangladeshi-American elected official. 
On the 11th of October 2014, the groundbreaking ceremony for the Shohid Minar monument in West Side Park in Patterson took place, paying tribute to people killed in Pakistan in 1952 while protesting that country's policies that banned Bangladeshis from speaking their Bangla Banla language and replicating those monuments that exist in Bangladesh. According to the World Glam Organization, the Bangladeshi cultural group working on the Patterson project the Shohid Minar was completed and unveiled in 2015. This project reflected the increasing influence of Paterson's growing Bangladeshi community, as reported in the record. <laughs> community and economic issues <laughs> Per capita income In 2014, identified by FactFinder census, when Americans' per capita income was divided by ethnic groups Bangladeshi Americans were revealed to have a per capita income of only $18,027, below the American average of $25,825. <laughs> Median household income Bangladeshi Americans have an average median household income of $49,800 which is lower than the American average of $53,600. Poverty According to a news article from the website Mashable released in 2015, it stated that reported that 26% of the Bangladeshi American community lived under the poverty line. This is much higher than the USA average of 16% according to data released by the Economic Policy Institute in 2011. In a 2013, NPR discussion with a member of the Economic Policy Institute and co-author of the book The Myth of the Model Minority Rosalind Cho who is also a professor of sociology. One of them stated that when you break it down by specific ethnic groups, the Hmong, the Bangladeshi, they have poverty rates that rival the African American poverty rate. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. The 2000 census undertaken by the Census Bureau listed 57,412 people identifying themselves as having Bangladeshi origin. Almost 40% of Bangladeshis over the age of 25 had at least a bachelor's degree as compared to less than 25% of the United States population. Culture Bangladeshi Americans retain a strong ethnic identity but are known to assimilate into American culture while at the same time keeping the culture of their ancestors. Bangladeshi Americans are well represented in the fields of medicine, engineering, business, finance and information technology. Bangladeshi Americans have brought Bengali cuisine to the United States, and Bengali cuisine has been established as one of the most popular cuisines in the country with hundreds of Bengali restaurants in each major city and several similar eateries in smaller cities and towns. There are many Bangladeshi markets and stores in the United States. Some of the largest are in New York City, Patterson, New Jersey, Central New Jersey, Washington, D.C., and Los Angeles. Languages Bangladeshi Americans often retain their native language Bengali and run many programs to nourish their mother tongue. However, many also speak Bengali dialects or other languages related to Bengali, the most common being Silheti which is spoken by people from the Silhet division in Bangladesh, and Chatgaya which is spoken by Bangladeshis from Chittagong. <inaudible> Religion Most Bangladeshi Americans are Muslim. Religion figures prominently in the life of Bangladeshi American families, and the Quran and the teachings of Muhammad serve as the guidelines that Bangladeshi Muslims are supposed to follow throughout their lives. The majority of Bangladeshis belong to the Sunni sect of Islam. In smaller towns in America where there may not be mosques within easy access, Bangladeshi Americans make trips to attend the nearest one on major religious holidays and occasions. 
However, most are in large urban centers where there are vibrant mosques run by Bangladeshis. Bangladeshi Americans also participate in and contribute to the larger Islamic community, which includes Arab Americans, Iranian Americans, Turkish American, African Americans, Indonesian Americans, Malaysian Americans, South Asian Americans, and many more ethnic backgrounds in America. Bangladeshi Americans have played important roles in the association the Muslim Students of America MSA, which caters to the needs of Islamic students across the United States. Bangladeshis have started many mosques in the United States, specifically in New York City, such as Jamaica Muslim Center, also known as Masjid al mamur located in Jamaica, New York, Daru Salam Masjid and Darul Uloom located in Jamaica, Badal Ghaffar and Richmond Hill Jaim Masjid located in Richmond Hill, New York, Fultali Jaim Masjid in Briarwood, Parkchester Jaim Masjid in Parkchester, Bronx, and many more masjids all over the city. Although most Bangladeshi Americans are Muslims, there are also Hindus within the community and they form an important part of the cultural mosaic of Bangladesh as well as the diaspora. They have done equally well. They have a tightly knit community yet have a peaceful relationship with Bangladeshi Muslims. There are a few temples and religious congregations in the United States operated by Bangladeshi Hindus. Since their numbers are low and they often have relations with the majority of Bengali Hindus, who migrated to India after the partition of India, they are often part of the larger social group of Bengalis from West Bengal and other parts of India and elsewhere. Similar to other ethnic groups in the USA, a growing proportion of Bangladeshi Americans are non-religious, secularist, atheist, humanist or of similar denomination. Notable people Ariana Afsar, former Miss California, placed in the top 10 of the 2011 Miss America pageant Saif Ahmad, World Series of Poker winner Maxuddle Alam, scientist and professor Jalal Alamgir D. 2011, political scientist and professor Kali S. Banerjee, statistician and professor Rais Buyan, shooting survivor and activist Subir Chowdhury, author and management consultant Mir Masoom Ali, George and Francis Ball Distinguished Professor of Statistics, Ball State University Hanson Clark, United States Congress in 2010, from Michigan's House of Representatives Hassan M. Elahi, interdisciplinary media artist Faisal Hussain, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Physics, and Earth Science at the University of Houston Abul Hussam, inventor of the Sono Arsenic Filter Abdus Sutter Khan, chemist and jet fuels inventor Padrol Khan, founder of modern e-learning Fazlur Rahman Khan, pioneer of modern structural engineering Salman Khan, founder of Khan Academy, a non-profit educational organization Jad Karim, co-founder of YouTube, designed key parts of PayPal Muhammad Atal Karim, electrical engineer Sumaya Kazi, founder of Samazi, was recognized by Businessweek as one of America's best young entrepreneurs. Dipa Ma, yoga teacher Sezan Mahmood, award-winning novelist Shomi Patwari, designer and music video director Iqbal Qadir, founder of Grameen Phone, Bangladesh's largest mobile phone company, heads the Legatum Center at MIT Kamal Qadir, entrepreneur, founded two of Bangladesh's key technology companies, Selbazar and Bcash Anika Rahman, CEO of Ms. Foundation for Women Badal Roy, tabla player, percussionist, and recording artist Rehan Salam, conservative American political commentator, blogger at the American scene, associate editor of the Atlantic Monthly Shiki, singer, auteur of industrial band Android Lust Esif Azam Siddiqui, space historian, assistant professor of history at Fordham University M. Osman Siddiq, former U.S. ambassador Palbasha Siddiq, singer Narasinga Sil, professor of history at Western Oregon University Supreme Understanding, author, publisher, activist and outspoken member of the Nation of Gods and Earths Monica Yunus, Bangladeshi Russian-American operatic soprano